Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I want to talk about the Wintervale event and how you can make some gold during this event. For those of you who are not aware, the Wintervale event is the event linked to Christmas and it will start on Thursday and last until January 2nd. This is a really good event to make a lot of gold and I'm going to try in this video to summarize how you can make some gold and really try to give a couple of tips on how to make it as efficient as possible. So let's start with what I think is the best way to make some gold during the Winter Bell event. And it's by farming the Minion of Grumpus mount. So for those of you who don't know this mount, uh, it has been introduced in World of Warcraft during um, Warlords of Draenor. And basically this is this big Yeti that you can then sell on the auction house. In order to get the mount, you need to complete some daily quests. The daily quests are taking place here in Draenor, in Frostfire Ridge, in this area. And basically it's only five daily quests. And after completing these five daily quests on one character, you should be rewarded with some currencies called the Merry Supplies. And with the five Merry Supplies that you can get uh, per day on each character, you can buy a savage gift and inside the savage gift you can be rewarded with different type of objects and this includes the mount the minion of grumpus and i think the percentage is around three percent so you'll still need to buy a couple of them but again guys every day you can have one of these savage gifts per character so if you have you know 20 characters that are level 50 or more you can have 20 savage gifts per day so at the end of the Winter Veil event, you should be able to have a couple of these mounts. Another very important way to get the mount is simply by buying them from the auction house when they are really cheap. So right now, as this is the end of the year and a lot of people already sold their mounts throughout the year, I would say that probably these different mounts are going to sell for 200k something like that but as soon as the winter veil event is going to start and as soon as a lot of people are going to get the mount and try to sell it the prices are going to crash and the quantity is going to increase so wait for the mount to really for instance be lower than 50k and then here on most realms you should be able to buy it and then to sell it for 200k let's say or maybe a little bit less or maybe a little more throughout the year so Again, it's always important when you're investing in this type of items that you're checking before and, you know, all the data from your realm. You can use the Undermine Journal to see what is the average price, what is the average regional price of the mount, and also see if, for instance, throughout the year it sells at a regular price or if it increases a lot and then just decreases during the winter veil event and the maybe few weeks following the event. I would say that on most realms, especially low pop and medium pop realms, this is a really good investment. Uh, but maybe it can be a little bit risky on high pop realms as a lot of people are going to farm the mount and there's going to have a huge quantity available throughout the year. For instance, right now on my realm, I think there is not even one mount available. I sold my last one, I think a few weeks ago for 250k gold, which is a lot. Uh, I bought the mounts back in... Uh, 2024 only 70k so this is a huge huge march but again guys it can depend so this is only my recommendation but this is also the best way to get the mount if you are unlucky when opening the savage gifts or if you just don't have the time to do the daily quests so after that the second best way to make some gold during this event in my opinion is going to be by crafting the different cosmetics from the event so these different cosmetics are the different winter clothes and also the winter boots basically with tailoring you can craft two items which are the green winter clothes and the red winter clothes and with level working you can buy the winter boots in order to buy these different recipes you can go in any capital and buy them from the different vendors related to the winter veil events I think for the green winter clothes, uh, for Alliance player, you need to go to Shatrat because otherwise the different vendors are in Orgrimmar and I think Undercity. 
so you need to go to Shatrat, but yes, other than that, really, these are some very easy cosmetics to craft. Uh, if you don't have already a leather worker or a tailor, you can just craft, like, create a reroll, and then you can learn quickly the different recipes, and then you can craft them. It probably like, costs around 100 gold to craft one item, and on most realms, especially low pop and medium pop realms, these can sell for a lot. As you can see, I sold two in the past week for more than 5k gold same with the boots and sometimes i'm really selling you know like 20 a day and it can really really be a good way to make some gold during these two weeks and also throughout the year because people will still think they can actually equip it when they not basically why people are buying these different armor pieces for two reasons first of all because during these two weeks you can actually transmoke these different armor pieces and i mean it's, you know, very like center related. So as you can see, these are pretty cool. And also, as you can see, there are other parts of the set, uh, which is the hats. And in order to complete certain uh, achievements from the Winter Veil event, you need to have this full set of clothes. So people will buy them in order to complete the achievement and then complete the meta achievement for the Winter Veil event. And after that, the meta achievement for all the different seasonal events and try to get the mount the purple proto drake but other than that i think uh this is really a good way to make some gold and in my opinion this is something that is working on most realms probably on ipo realms again there's so much competition that it might not be so good but trust me on low pop and medium pop realms this is definitely a good way to make some gold so if you have any you know, issues in finding the recipes or in finding you know information you can go on warhead i also share the links in the description so you can really easily find the different vendors and see how you can craft these items one thing i would recommend as well is as probably especially on low pop and medium pop realms a lot of people are going to try to craft these different items try to buy all the different material needed beforehand so then you won't suffer from the inflation because most likely a lot of these different components are going to inflate in the next few days and also because just by buying all the stock available on the auction house you you know prevent other players from crafting these items and then you can have the monopole so as you can see that's my case right now you know i'm the only one saying that zatan is my priest so this is the best way to also make sure that you're the only one having the cells but again, it will most likely work on low pop, maybe on medium pop, but definitely not on high pop. So don't bother buying all these different materials because they will crash again for sure. The third best way to make some gold in the Winter Veil event are going to be the different toys. So you have different toys you can acquire during these events, and most of them are linked as soon as you buy them, but some of them can be sold on the auction house. There is, for instance, the one that you can buy with the different Mary supplies, and this is the Crushing Trashing Killdozer controller. As you can see, I sold one for 25k gold uh, two days ago, and I've sold some throughout the year. So basically, you just need five of these to buy one. Uh, again, this is only, you know, 10 minutes completing the five daily quests on one character. Uh, so this is really not uh, a lot. I would recommend to, uh, you know, maybe like have five or 10 of them. I know this is a little bit of a risk because then you just, you know, like lose a little bit of chance to get some minion of Grumpus from the Savage Gift. But trust me, these are toys that always sell throughout the year. So you will most likely make some gold also with these different items. Other toys that you can get are the different cushions. Uh, so these are the different rewards from completing the quest, uh, the quest that is, uh, why are you so mean? Something like that. And basically, I don't know why I cannot find it. Sorry. But basically, you can get them from the stolen present, which is the reward from doing this daily quest. And really, this is not too difficult to get. But again, unfortunately, there is like a, like a small percentage to get each of them. So a lot of people won't get all the different questions by completing all the different quests. And so that's why uh, most likely they will buy it from the auction house. Uh, I would personally really recommend you to also keep an eye on all these different um, toys. And if suddenly they start to be good, you can definitely try to uh, sell, uh, to buy some of them and then resell them uh, later in the year. 
As you can see here, for instance, I sold one of these for 20K gold two days ago. And then yes, I have like over still available in the auction house. But yes, these are definitely interesting toys. And I would recommend you to farm them or to flip them as soon as you can. The last category um, I would say is gonna be, actually no, so this is not the last category. The <laughs> almost last category is gonna be another reward from the Savage Gift. And these are the different um, medallion of the Legion. So basically when competing, uh, when opening the Savage Gift, you have 15% chance of getting instead of the Mount uh, medallion of the Legion, but these items still sell pretty well. As you can see, there is a 2.40 uh, region av average daily sold. And also they are very useful. So throughout the year, people will buy them. I am, as you can see, I sold 13 of them 15 days ago for 1k9 uh, on average. And really, this is something that, you know, you will be able to flip pretty easily because a lot of people are going to get a lot of these medallions and the prices are going to crash very, very fast. So if I were you, as soon as they're below 1k gold, I will start maybe considering investing maybe you can wait a little bit more but be careful because people will also buy them so you might lose the opportunity but yeah this is also one of the items that really is worth uh, farming during this event and finally this time this is the final category we have the different consumables and the food uh, and drink so when you are doing the different achievements you need to have a certain uh, food and drinks in order to complete the achievements. And here, as you can see, uh, from this event, you have the gingerbread cookie, the winter veil eggnog, and the hot apple cider. Again, you can find these recipes to different vendors uh, related to the winter veil event in the different capitals. I would say that the gingerbread cookie is the best, uh, but on low pop realms and maybe, maybe on medium pop realms, you can still make a lot of gold with the rest of these uh, consumables, for instance, on my room right now, there is none of them. So I'm going to start crafting them and probably a lot of people are going to start crafting them as well. But at least for now, I'm sure I'm going to be able to sell a couple of them for a very good price. Uh, so I would say try to craft a couple of them, especially the gingerbread cookie. And you'll see if you can make some uh, benefits out, out of these different consumables. But yes, so these are needed in order to complete the achievement. And again, a lot of people want to complete the meta achievement. So they will have to actually purchase these different uh, consumables, these different food and drinks. So these are, for me, the best ways to make some gold during these events. Maybe there are other ways that I'm forgetting, but really um, these are the ones I can think of and the ones I'm currently using in order to make some gold during the event. Again, guys, the Winter Veil event is very, very good to make some gold because most of the items that you can get, whether this is the medallion or the legend, the mount or the different toys are relevant throughout the year. Uh, so really trust me, you will be able to make a lot of gold by acquiring all these different uh, items and by selling them uh, later in the year. So really keep an eye on all these different items. Maybe what you want to do is put them as a uh, favorite here. So as you can see, as soon as you open your auction house, you will directly see them. And if there is a good, you know, occasion, you can directly jump on it and buy, the, buy it uh, as soon as possible. So like that, you don't have to think about it each time you're opening the auction house, but you'll always see if there is a good deal or not. So this is what I would recommend. Uh, but yeah, I really hope uh, you will be able to make some gold. Um, also, don't forget to uh, enjoy Christmas outside of World of Warcraft. It's great to make some gold. It's also great to spend a little bit of time with your family and friends. But I'm sure you can always keep an eye on what's happening and you will find some um, nice item to invest in, even if you're not spending too much time in uh, World of Warcraft. So... I'm going to finish my video on that. And yes, I wish you all a very, very um, Merry Christmas. And I hope you all have a great time with your family and relatives. And yes, I will see you all later for another video. Um, yeah. So bye, everyone.